What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman. Now, I don't think there was a single person in the industry, me included, who thought we'd be hearing officially from Kevin Feige anytime soon on the MCU after the enormity of that Marvel Phase 4 slash Phase 5 slate reveal just over a month ago, and the fact that we didn't hear from him in the entirety of 2020. Well, this is the release week for WandaVision, meaning there has been a ton of press, and recently, Kevin Feige weighed in in two separate interviews, not only on all these crazy Spider-Man 3 Spider-Verse rumors, but directly if WandaVision and what's coming in Phase 4 would lead to a quote X-Men revival. We're going to break down exactly what he said in both interviews, again, referring to the Spider-Verse rumors and the X-Men in the MCU, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button we're still giving away a playstation 5 at 800,000 subscribers as well as a ton of new marvel prizes we'll be announcing this week all you have to do to be entered to win hit the subscribe button then leave a comment down below and if you want stick around at the end of the video we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there so as i mentioned moments ago in the prologue this actually came via two separate interviews with kevin feige but in conjunction with the press junket for wandavision because of the release this upcoming friday the first of which in an exclusive with comicbook.com when asked about Spider-Man 3 and specifically it becoming a live action into the Spider-Verse adaptation. They go on to report with the precursor quote, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige is not confirming or denying any of the casting pieces. He does, however, acknowledge that some of us journalists, fans, and others online have come quite close to what's going to happen while others miss the mark completely. Kevin Feige said this about Spider-Man 3 and the Spider-Verse quote, I've read some things, I'm not sure I've read all things, Feige told comicbook.com in an exclusive interview during a press event for WandaVision, quote, the fun thing about online speculation when it comes to our stuff is how sometimes it couldn't be more off the mark and sometimes it's shockingly close and that's held true for the last few years by saying which is which would take all the fun out of everything. And trust me guys, the fact that that quote ends with the word everything is not lost on me, the synchronicity that when Kevin Feige says the fun in the speculation, sometimes it's close, sometimes it's completely off the mark. He is literally talking exactly about channels like mine and all of the reports we cover. It's awesome to hear that Kevin Feige appreciates this part of the fandom and the enthusiasm. This is as old as comic books themselves and us trying to guess what's going to happen with the team ups and the villains. He goes on to say about Spider-Man 3 regarding what's going on with the multiverse in the conclusion in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Badness. Quote, the biggest clue is the title of the Doctor Strange second movie. That's the biggest clue where the multiverse of madness is taking us and how we're exploring that, Feige said, quote, it's surreal to me that we're talking about Spider-Man 3. I worked on a movie called Spider-Man 3 many years ago directed by Mr. Sam Raimi, so this clearly, the shorthand of calling it Spider-Man 3 for now is fine. We'll call it Homecoming 3. Now, speaking of the multiverse of madness and Spider-Man 3 being a part of what's going on with WandaVision ending with Doctor Strange and the multiverse of madness and a three-part series, this weekend in a totally separate interview with Deadline, only again because of the press for WandaVision, Kevin Feige was asked a ton of poignant questions about what's going on in Marvel Phases 4 and 5 what it's leading to. This question in specific will make a lot of X-Men fans super excited. Deadline, quote, we know with Monica Rambeau in WandaVision, her character connects into Captain Marvel 2, and in that series connects to Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Is WandaVision a ramp to the revival of the X-Men you're planning? Feige, in hindsight, in five years, if we're talking about everything that's happened, everything can be a ramp to everything. Specifically though, yes, Monica in Captain Marvel 2, and specifically to Wanda teaming up with Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Now, obviously, the last part of that quote is meant to take attention off of the first part, and what he was trying to say in response to, is this WandaVision early part of Marvel Phase 4 leading to a revamp of the X-Men? Of course it is. There are going to be Easter eggs throughout the entirety of Marvel Phase 4 for everything that's to come. And finally, Marvel Studios has all of the rights for the characters they want to use in the future. They don't have to sign any more rights agreements like were reported in the past with Fox or as they did real recently with Sony again for Spider-Man. They have the time and unlike the Infinity Saga, they know they're going to be able to get there. As Kevin Feige has said many times, they were just doing what they could, dreaming about what could 
could come and dreaming bigger and bigger as the MCU became more successful. In the meantime, it grew into what I could say and dare I say is too big to fail. Now they know they could spend 10 years if they want to leading up to a Secret Wars and taking their time to introduce the X-Men which, as we've pointed out in several trailers already, specifically Falcon in the Winter Soldier, they've already started laying the groundwork for several members of the X-Men that could show up in various places, cameos, and at least have origin points, if not actual cameos, and some of these immediate shows. Yes, we are expecting a post credit scene and or a couple of direct Easter eggs in WandaVision and the Falcon and the Winter Soldier to start introducing members of the X-Men. And when they talk about WandaVision specifically, this is twofold. The first of which, because of the Infinity Stones involvement in unlocking what could be the mutant gene the x gene what we need for the x-men in the future the second of which her father magneto classic x-men villain ties directly to professor xavier and you can't talk about her backstory and her family which we expect wandavision to delve into without eventually touching on who her father is which unless they're going to deviate from major marvel canon is indeed none other than magneto guys let me know all your thoughts down below in reaction to all of this a how hype can you possibly be for the future of the X-Men in the MCU and the fact that he touched on the Spider-Verse at all with the response saying that he pays attention to the Marvel rumor news circuit which is hilarious to me considering he may or not have watched a video or two here at Everything Always Kevin Feige if you happen to see this one or any of the future videos man I make music hit me up. I'd love to place a song somewhere in a Marvel movie. That would be a dream. Either way, guys, let me know all your thoughts down below about the Spider-Man 3, Spider-Verse, the future of the X-Men, and of course, the mutant gene getting unlocked in WandaVision. How and when do you think this is going to happen? And how do you think they're going to explain all the future mutants in the MCU? It's definitely looking like the snap, isn't it? Let me know all your thoughts down below and quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away a PlayStation 5 at 800,000 subscribers, as well as announcing a ton of new prizes this week when WandaVision comes out. If you want to be entered to win the PlayStation 5 or any of the future prizes here at the channel, all the same rules will always apply. All you have to do, hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber here, and then leave a comment down below. The more videos you comment on here at the channel, the better chance you have of winning as that's what we use to pick the winners. All the winners will be announced at the end of videos in this same segment we have here. If you want to keep up with the videos better, the best way to do that is to hit the notification bell with notifications turned on. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video with the rest of the videos here at the channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name's Michael Roman, guys. You can find me in a couple of spots online, the first of which my Instagram and my Twitter under the handle I am Fires. You can also find my original music on Spotify under All Fires and the rest of the platforms under the same name, including here, YouTube. You can also find me streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Novellan. There are links down in the description to all four. My name's Michael Roman. Thanks for checking out the channel, guys. I sincerely appreciate your support over the last couple of years. This is going to be a very exciting year, 2021, for MCU fans everywhere, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.